Welcome to the 2008 Right Workplace Awards Ceremony Highlights. The two winners this year, Vulcan Materials and Avid Services, have both exhibited excellence in business and people practices that make them more than worthy recipients of this year's award. This is our sixth annual Right Workplace Award Forum. And for those that aren't, aren't familiar with it, the Right Workplace Award is sponsored by Right Management and the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce. And the award recognizes and honors organizations who really, who really bring about workplace excellence and uh, really make Chicago companies competitive in the Chicagoland area. Uh, we are looking at how to use people within this mindset those that are problem solving, those that are proactive, those that think out of the box, that are innovative. It's absolutely critical that we prepare our workforce to take increasingly responsible positions within our company. If we don't do that, we're not going to survive. We won't be competitive. We won't have the talent. The talent will go else elsewhere. The current economic climate isn't real good. A lot of industries are going to suffer if they haven't already. How do you think these types of development programs going forward, and this may be a year and a half, two years, maybe four, maybe longer, uh, before the, uh, the global economy kind of catches, uh, moves out of the uh, current situation. How do you see this going forward? I think our theme is to leave the current economic situation better than we found it we come out of it. And everything we're doing now is to prepare ourselves when this does start to come back to a, more of a normalized business, that we come out of it better than what we were when we went into it. And the types of programs that we have in place, the focus we have over the next 12 months with our training programs will help make that happen. And it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity right now to do things different than what you've done and really understand your business. If you're a little bit slower, take those times and those moments to teach a little more, to learn a little more. It's a very talented group of people that spend a lot of time, uh, and it's the actually Work Excellence uh, Committee. As part of the chamber, these are business leaders, these are HR practitioners, and other, all of the above, who are passionate about what they do for people, what they do for organizations, and volunteer their time to the right award, they oversee the right award, and there are also resources that the chamber members use to, uh, to really access uh, information around best practice content related to people practices. And of course, every once in a while, have a little fun. I've been on a committee for a long time, and uh, I think the, the things that we do in illuminating great people practices and companies that do great works is, is a really cool thing. And one of the things we get to do is we get to visit the individual companies and see these programs in practice. First, the committee reviews all the applications for the award. They then decide on the finalists and conduct site visits to interview management and hear all the stories directly from the employees. Then the winners are selected. Two winning organizations this year for the Right Workplace Award. Uh, both of them have really demonstrated how they developed, implemented, and really maintained people practices that have powerful impact on the business, but also have a powerful impact on the employees and, and those that contribute to the business. They clearly clearly demonstrated how building a, a development-rich culture uh, really provides results. And they truly do understand that you know, all every company, the greatest asset with any company is really its people, its human capital. So with, uh, with no further ado, let's, let's get to some of our winners here. It is uh, Vulcan Materials Company. Please help me. Vulcan Materials received their award this year based upon their IDP, or Individual Development Plans. This program addressed a desire from their employees to have a more focused approach to career development. This program has been a resounding success in helping them meet their goals. Okay, and, and our second winner tonight, Evan uh, Services.
After the awards ceremony, there was a lively panel discussion led by a talented veteran of the Workplace Excellence Committee, Jerry Carducci from Integrated Performance Strategies. The discussion focused on the stories and experiences of the winning companies. Share, you know, we talk about technology, we talk about all these bits and pieces and PowerPoints we get. Those, a lot of people don't reflect on those, those go away. The stories live on. I think when we got our surveys and when we asked the question, what's the best thing that you like about working with this company? And the answer is consistently, we feel like we can contribute. We feel like our opinions are valued and they matter. Um, I think that one of the things of having practices in place where you have a culture in which people feel valued and they care about the company, as you are challenged, as we showed in one of your slides, where there's all this more work that everyone's asked to do, um, then where there are people who have been a part of, of a place that they enjoy and they contributed to, they're going to take that task on with a different mentality than they are in a place where this is just a job that I come to and now my job has a lot more work. If you care about the success of the company and you care about what you've been a part of building, you get a lot more people willing to say to step up and say, let me take this on and let me take this on because we're all in this together and we all want to thrive at the end. The company move forward, you need to have those individuals that want to take that extra step, that want to go the extra mile. And what EFIT has done very successfully is given us the tools to take our own skills. You look at me, I'm a right brained person, I'm the creative mindset, I plan events, I make pretty weddings, I don't do budgets and PL statements, but yet <laughs> Talia has challenged me, and now I'm finding myself doing these. And in fact, just two days ago, I submitted, I'm proud to say, my first budget, and I had such a sense of elation because I never thought it was possible. And I had such fear and trepidation, but yet I knew I had the tools, the resources, and the company behind me to help me learn that, that wasn't judging that, no, she doesn't know what the heck she's doing. Mm -hmm. I did it, and it felt wonderful, and now I am able to take that set of learning and teach it to my team and carry on down, and that goes to the succession. And I think that makes a big difference when you're competing against other small companies in your same space, that if they lose their people or they have a, a low morale during that time, you're going to be able to go in there and take a lot more market share, certainly in a service company when your clients are interacting with your people. And I think that that's why our company is poised that even in these economic difficulties, we've got those people that want to go that extra mile, that want to stay and work 12 hours if they have to, that want to do what they have to do to rise to the top so that when layoffs have to occur, hey, it's not going to be me because <laughs> I'm valued. Um, we actually have two of our employees here today that um, have kind of personal stories regarding um, their use of the IDP program. If you don't mind, not to put you on the spot, but you could probably tell the story better than I could, Brian, and, and you too, Wanila. I started Vulcan close to eight years ago in an information services role. When the IDP process came along, it, it opened that conversation between me and my manager, and I transitioned from a role in information services into a marketing analyst role, which is what I'm doing today. I was hired into our engineering department and very much enjoyed it. As an engineer, you get to touch some things, but you don't get to see the entire picture. Through the IDP process, I expressed some interest in wanting to know more about uh, finance and how things work with the company and operations and things of that sort, and I was inducted into our Management Associates program, where I am currently doing a rotation in our procurement department. I've learned so many skills to make me a better leader. Best wishes for our continued success. Thank you for the recognition. Hi.